Jeff Power, Senior Writer for Real-Time Fantasy Sports, and welcome to another edition of the Real-Time Fantasy Sports Show. On today's show, I'm going to give you five waiver wire ads for week nine of the fantasy season. Before I get to that, though, I want to wish everyone a very happy election day. I am taping this on election day, so if you're watching today, Tuesday, go out and vote and enjoy the day. should be a lot of fun, a lot of excitement, but most importantly, go out and vote. All right. That's my PSA public service announcement for today. So let's get to the waiver wire ads now. And my first one is Jordan Wilkins of the Colts. So Wilkins led the Colts in rushing last week, played much better than starter Jonathan Taylor. He had 20 carries for 89 yards and a touchdown. This was the first time all season Wilkins had double digit carries in a game and he made the most of it. Taylor just isn't playing very well right now. He's not making a lot of plays behind that offensive line, which is very good and surprising. Wilkins made plays last week. I think he's going to get a bigger workload going forward. Could be more of a timeshare. I do think Taylor will continue to start, but look for Wilkins to eat into his playing time. And he could play a lot in this very good rushing offense. And Wilkins is available in nearly every league out there. 97% of leagues on our site, Wilkins is out there. So if you're looking for some running back help, I think Wilkins is a very good speculative ad. My next waiver wire ad is Lions receiver Marvin Jones. So Kenny Galladay, he's hurt once again. Not a surprise. This leaves Jones as a likely number one receiving option for the Lions the next few weeks. Jones had a two-touchdown game last week in in an expanded role after Galladay got hurt. He has 13-plus fantasy points, two straight games, and he can help fantasy teams going forward, in my opinion, getting more targets in this offense. Jones was dropped in a lot of leagues because he got off to a bit of a slow start this year. He's available in 55% of leagues. If you're looking for a receiver, go grab Jones. My next waiver wire ad is Packers receiver Alan Lazard. So don't forget about Lazard. He was playing very well before he got hurt. He landed on injured reserve, though, because of a core injury. He is expected back this week, though, should return to the starting lineup. In his last game before the injury, he had six catches for 146 yards and a touchdown. He has touchdowns two of the three games he's played this year. Packers are a very good offensive team. And much like Jones, he was dropped in a lot of leagues earlier in the season because of his injury, though. Lazard was injured. Jones was not. But Lazard is available in 47% of leagues on our site. I think he could be a very serviceable number three fantasy receiver for the rest of the season. My next waiver wire ad is Ravens running back Gus Edwards. So Edwards found the end zone for the second straight game last week. He had a season high in rush attempts. In rushing yards, he had 16 carries for 87 yards. He's a big part of this rushing attack, even when Mark Ingram's in the lineup. But Mark Ingram's hurting right now, could miss another week of action. That means Edwards is set up for double-digit carries once again. And he's available in 57% of leagues. My last waiver wire ad for Week 9 is Washington tight end Logan Thomas. So Thomas, not a very exciting option, but he's been pretty dependable at a position that's really top-heavy this year. Thomas has touchdowns two straight games. He had his best game of the season his last time out. He caught four passes for 60 yards and a touchdown. He's probably the second best receiving option for Washington behind Terry McLaurin. I think he has some streaming potential. Again, the tight end position is not very good this year. And Thomas is a guy I think you can stream, and he's available in 63% of leagues. Those are my five waiver wire ads for week nine. Hopefully you had a lot, you have a lot of success navigating this waiver wire this week. There are some options out there. So good luck to you in all of your ventures on the waiver wire and also in your games in week nine. This has been Jeff Power for Real-Time Fantasy Sports. Have a great day. 